Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series where we, I was going to say try to achieve 100% then, it's been so long since I said that, damn, damn it's been a while. Anyways, we're going to jump in, we're going to jump on in. I have just woken up, and I mean just, like, ah, uh, Lazarus again, no thank you. Ooh, Tainted Eve though, okay, Tainted Eve's, Tainted Eve's become a character that I feel is kind of difficult, like, like, I used to really, really, really enjoy her, and I still do to the, for the most part, but now that her clocks can die so much easier... Uh, oh, really? 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 Okay, okay, that was mean. This is... this is mean. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, I've just woken up, I'm not ready for this. Um, but yeah, now that her clocks can die easier, I feel like it's... Oh my lord, how am I still alive? Um, she's a much harder character to play in like the first two floors, especially if you get like a bad boss item and a bad item room. I feel like it really makes her quite difficult. So let's let's get a clot in here, and also as well, like you've obviously just got the the problematic stuff of having to tap fire, which isn't a huge deal, but it's it's more annoying than it should be. And I will take this pill. Oh, thank the lord for the balls of steel oh uh, uh, no 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 you big fat bastard what what are you doing what? this room's not fair excuse me fat boy god <laughs> see now that that is a, that is nightmare i can get behind one thing i am not aware of though does it make does it make our clots Ooh, nice, okay. Um, does it make our clots invincible when we use it? Because if it doesn't, it's near it's 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 near useless. So that basically that, that that's basically what's gonna end up being the deciding factor. Let's try it out. So far it's looking like no. <laughs> that 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 clot seemed to take a considerable amount of damage, which is a real shame because it's going to be very, very hard to effectively use that now, apart from for getting into devil deals. Okay, so first item room, near, near useless. Um, unfortunately, oh, thank you for killing yourself on a fire. That helped out a lot. But today's question, today's question. Let's get into it. What is? Oh, hello, troll bomb. Oh, stop giving me back and spiders. Uh, what is your like? What was, should I say, your, like, favourite childhood toy? Like, what was, like, one thing that, for some reason, always drew you and you don't really know why? For me, it was always dinosaurs. Like, I was I was that kid that was, like, hella into dinosaurs. This is gonna be horrible. Um, yeah, I was that kid that was, like, really into dinosaurs for whatever reason. Um, and, oh my god. I had, like, a, a toy chest. Oh, oh! This is, this, this is annoying me now. I am, no... So much of fucking Jabir. Go away, you stupids! <laughs> I've just woken up. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Why do we have to deal with such pain? I cannot fathom. Don't you dare, you little shyster. Oh my lord! Yeah, I had like this. I'm trying to tell a story, Horn. This is really, really not the, not the situation I wanted be, it to be in for telling a story. I'm, I'm definitely gonna die here. This is taking forever. Our boss item better be like growth hormones or like, uh, squeezy or something. It better be something that's either gonna give me some HP and fire rate or damage and speed. Or damage and fire rate would also be good, but I don't know if any of those items exist. Is there a damage and fire rate item? <laughs> Let's give a clap for the game for being an absolute flaming spastic. I'm not going to say that word. I did kind of say it in a muffled voice, but anyways, let's... Let's carry on. <laughs> oh, this run's going terribly. Anyways, Back to what I was talking about. Yeah, I had like this huge toy chest just absolutely full to the brim with uh, dinosaur toys. I'm sorry, sissy. Did I see 2020 in there? I think I did, didn't I? Mmm. That was a good old troll of you there. Um, 
Like, this toy chest just full to the brink of di uh, dinosaurs that I got from this place called the Early Learning Center, which was a shop. I don't know if it's like a, a, a like a chain of, of shops or, or if it was just a one, like, where I lived. But my... Oh, no, 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 no. What was I meant to do there? Um, It was amazing. It was just... Oh, this run. Just full to the brim, full everywhere of, of dinosaurs and different toys. And it was one of those ones where it was like... Toys R Us was bigger and just had way more, but I really liked this way smaller shop that had like just a bunch of, because it was called the LLN Center, of course. It had a lot of like educational toys, but that included, oh no, uh, oh no, oh no. Stay back, heathens. That included a lot of dinosaur toys. Um, and I, I loved it. Every time we went, I was like so excited, and I, I, I literally had like hundreds of the dinosaur toys. And I don't know, did did everyone else, did anyone else have that sort of thing as a kid? Because like it wasn't even just like while I was a really small kid either. It was until I was like seven. Um, this this run is 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 genuinely doomed. Like I I I, I really don't see a way in which this run goes well. Like we need a fire upgrade. Like yesterday. We need some health too, game. If you could give me some health. Oh god. Okay, let's play this right. Stand over here. Why what, what's this dude at the bottom doing? Come up here. There you go, there you go. I can get round you. And we got a bomb. Oh my god, it's, it's this is just it's painful. We deal so little damage. Like, what the hell, <laughs> Eve? I can't afford to make any clots because I'm not getting any red health from any source. This is this is one of those episodes where I'm, ha I'm finding it hard to tell stories because the run is just tragic. Like we're on a 13 streak. Don't do this to me. I know Tainted Eve can definitely be a harder character, but come on now. This guy's gonna split in two as well. Look at this. Now I've got another big HP set of dudes to deal with. I really hope I go straight to the boss here because I need to leave this floor immediately. Oh ho ho! Give me some HP. Okay, there's some HP. Okay. We're at least somewhat in the clear now. We can take a champion hit and not die. I'm saving my spacebar item for uh, dire situations. I'm not spawning any clots right now because, honestly, until I get some tear effects and some fire rate, they're not really worth anything to me. Unless I can get excess HP, like, on the floor. Okay. You fly, stay away. Well, at least we have decent damage per shot, so it's not taking us too long to kill things in terms of the amount of shots to hit. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. In terms of the amount of shots to hit them. Right. <sighs> My lad. This is a strange room. Right, away we go. This is another room that's pretty, pretty tough, especially these guys can do some weird direction changes and splits that can really mess with me. But we should be okay. There you go. We got it. Um, okay, let's let's get some dippies in here first. Oh, God. Oh, God. I didn't... Yep, I did not account or realize that dude existed for some reason. Why do you exist is the question. Why do you exist? God damn. What's, what's with these trash fire rooms? Who made this? Show yourself. I can't hit this bloody thing. There's not enough. L literally, this room took so long. The game was like, cool, you're done. <laughs> oh, my lord. God damn, just destroying poops is a task with this character. W should be able to go to the shop, which would be nice. Yeah, I think the deteriorating clot things is fine, but maybe they should only... Deteriorate while you're in combat rooms. Come on, fly. Don't be like this. Right. Get a few more clots going. Okay, we've actually got some excess HP and some fire rate now with our clots. It's not great, but it's something. Thank God I killed that guy. No key to open that up, which is annoying. 
Still though, we got one soul heart at least. Oh, there's the key. Okay, so do we want to go to the shop or do we want to take the soul heart? I think I want to take the soul heart, but I also really do want to go to the shop. Also, why is this floor so heckin' long? Dude, dude, this is annoying the shit out of me. Why do I keep getting enemies? Just, 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 leave me alone. I've just woken up. God damn it. Leave me the hell alone. Get out of my personal space. Just, 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 just go away. <laughs> I'm just trying to have a good time. <laughs> Yeah, why is this floor so long? <laughs> oh, you can go away, you jumping jack assholes as well. Dude, jumping jack... Just jump this way. Like, where the... Okay, so the boss room's here, so where the hell's the shop then? Also, another key, which means we can get the soul heart. Right. So we grab this, soul heart and a half. We find wherever the, we've probably already seen the shop. Ooh, double tinted rock here. Could give us small rock, we need that. It did give us small rock. Fire rate and damage. Oh, joyous day of days. Was it this way? I, I, this is why I think Curse of the Lost is my least, in, least favorite curse in the entire game. Just because the, the amount of unnecessary backtracking it makes you do is infuriating. Where the hell is the shop? Oh, it's here. Okay. I will definitely take blue map. Also, give me some poop buddies. Right. Away we go. So we can't... We unfortunately can't use sump just because we have clock guys now. But they're all low health, so we'll probably die pretty quickly. I'm super glad we've got small rock, despite the fact that it's lowered our speed. I think our speed is like, it's an issue, but we can deal with it. The damage and fire rate were bigger issues. We've now alleviated one of those more than the other. Fire rate still leaves a lot to be uh, desired. I'm going to take this too, because we've got two double trinket slots. I only just remembered that. It wouldn't be embarrassing if I left that behind. So our dippies are doing a good job of keeping you at bay. This dude should go down relatively quickly with the fire rate and damage we currently got going on. He likes hiding behind rocks, though, apparently. He's, he's doing that a lot. Okay, now for you. I, I'm i a little apprehensive of how hard this is going to be. Yep, rightfully so. Do you know what? Fuck you. Too annoying. Right, devil deal, I'm sorry, but you are not for me. I do not think I can lose health at a time like this. What I will do, though, is I'll take this box and get some good stuff. We got ourselves Justice, which we will not use right now, but we will keep. Um, and picking up a Soul Heart has a 15% chance of granting a Holy Mantle Shield. 30% chance... Ooh. I think, that, I think that's worth taking up a Petrified Poop. Um, that, that could end up being really good. I'll also take this pill. Uh, Addicted's fine, whatever. Um, and we'll also create... There's another! There's another Double Tinted Rock here. What the hell? Two on one floor? I had never seen that before. Thank God this gave me my keys back, because that would have been really annoying if it hadn't. Um Right, let's let's quickly do this. I need to remember as well that sumping is actually sort of worthwhile on this character, but obviously only if we have like health a health deficit where we can actually heal from them. Sucking them up for no reason is just why would we ever do that? We'll, we'll just... I, I basically only end up using Eve for the excess clots anyways, for the most part. That's, that's my favourite way to play her. Damn it, I was hoping one of them would blow up the mushrooms, at least. Okay, so now we've got enough to pop this. Unfortunately, that was basically worthless. We do at least get some clots, but... That's not really what I was looking for from our golden chest. I was hoping for, like, a Mr. Dolly or something. As a soul heart. I, I, you guys know my, my beef with guillotine. You guys know, I damn well hate it in every way, but we need fire rate. We have to take it. We desperately need fire rate. The damage is a bonus. But yeah, fire rate right now is, 
is the highest of priorities. Also, flight would be like top quality right now. Ooh, a golden heart. Yeah, flight would be like top quality right now. Uh, because we could get our clots to go over rocks and not split up as often. Right, you can go. Come on, dude. How are you not dead? There you go. We at least know where our secret rooms are. Not that we have the bombs to enter them currently, but we might end up getting them along the way here. There's more than one pin, isn't there? There's always more than one pin. What's going on here? Is this only a one pin room? What the hell? That's a penny. Okay, some leeches coming in. Oh god, champion. Champion pin dude on needle, should I say. That, that guy should drop HP though, right? Okay. Oh, he could have dropped a double heart and he refused. Evil. Okay, so we're keeping, we're keeping our clots alive reasonably well. I think we've entered the point of this character now where we're not in absolute panic mode. And I can get back to telling my stories. But yeah, what I was saying, before I got rudely interrupted by this run being terrible, was I used to go to this early, le early learning center pretty often with my uh, with my mum and mum used to take me, obviously, because I was a child. Uh, but it was like my favorite place in the world to go. I'd go to Toys R Us and I'd be like, snooze. But I go to early learning center and I'm like, oh my god, this is hype. This is like the best place I've ever been. <laughs> this is everything I've ever wanted. One good thing about uh, about the situation we've got right now in this run, by the way, I was saying about guillotine being really annoying. Normally guillotine's really annoying because it's hard to like focus on where your character is, but the clots are helping with that a lot. They help me keep keep focus a bit because they're shooting straight from my body. Ooh, Dormamic 2. Okay. Right, we really need some bombs here. We really need some bombs. We could definitely go to the shop as well. But yeah, did any of you have like one of those shop toy uh, shop toys? Toy shops are like places that are just like stand out to you. I don't know why some of these uh, leeches aren't changing colour anymore. They should be. Oh god. Because of uh, rooms galore, has that like color changing thing going on? I don't know. Maybe it maybe it's been removed. I don't know. Right, got you. Okay, still no bombs, but we got to the shop and we've got good money. I'm trying to think of what could save us here from the shop. Night light's decent. I will take a seven cent night light. I'll also take that, and I'll also take that. Oh my lord! Give me the bombs. We did get a Holy Mantle shield out of that, though, which is awesome. Sadly, we just got to bail from this floor, I think, despite not really getting to go to any of our secret rooms or into that Dormimic room, which Dormimic rooms are real strong. That's a little bit of a shame. Ooh, this this might be a room in which it's, it's very much... Yeah, we just lost a clock. Let's just um, do this. Boom. Especially because we've got Guillotine now as well. There you go. Right, and we got lucky here, because we got ourselves a full heal heart. So we should do this. Oh wait, that's our, I forgot our golden heart would become a clot there. And then we take that. And we could do like two more, I guess. And down to the next floor. Okay, feeling good. I get the health deteriorates and what I'm doing isn't exactly the best of options. But it's fine. Ooh, we need to keep this golden boy going for as long as we can, really. Getting that extra money is going to be super valuable. I love, I love how this floor looks with uh, with the new, the new backdrops. This backdrops mod is is genuinely what the fuck, genuinely incredible. Right now, I'm getting like hella perturbed by basically every single room that I'm coming across. Stop giving me just the, the most evil rooms. Like this. The f fuck is this? I know th I know these are from rooms galore. These need to go. <laughs> what the hell? The room was over. <laughs> oh god. The annoyance in my soul right now. Also, where are my heckin' bombs. This, this, this little, this little, this little thing of mine. I ain't gonna let it shine because I'm very perturbed. My lord. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, 
this room. Okay, we can actually kill these guys before the uh, before we let them escape, which is nice. Don't accidentally step on all of that crap. Okay, right. Let's do something here. I know we're going to lose some clots for this, but it's going to be worth it. It is indeed worth it. Right, so we sump, and then we go one, two, three. Get them all gathered up. They're still not gathered up. It's because I'm walking on the, uh, on the webs. Oh, we're going to lose some clots here. We are going to lose some clots here. In fact, give me them all back. I'm just going to stick with the ones that I've got out. I didn't realize it didn't sump every single clot, so maybe I've been playing sump wrong. Okay, Nightlight, you are screwing me so much right now. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. I don't care if I lose my clots. Go away. You're annoying the shit out of me. Okay. This run has been an absolute trial. Absolute trial. It's been so much pain. Yeah, Nightlight is maybe not the best decision I've ever made. I feel like Nightlight's one of those items that can really mess you up if you don't like if it if it if it slows down some tiers and not others. Also, one minute. My nose was really annoying me there, so I had to blow it. I do apologize after been sniveling during the video. Oh, shit. Okay, so at least we got um, an old bandage proc here. So we can get some extra fire rate going on in here. Just stop with your shit, please. You better give me a bomb reward, by the way. Better, because I'm getting really annoyed that we just perpetually have no bombs when we have blue map. It's very upsetting. You've got to be dead now, right? Yeah, there you go. That's not a bomb, but it is at least HP. I'll take that. I'll take that. But we actually made a play as Tainted Eve with our health, which is rare for me because I very rarely try to do that. But I thought today was a special day. We should. Stre strength card could be useful. Trying to go into every room we can here just to make sure. No, not, not that room there. Just to make sure we try and get uh, bombs. I really want to visit secret rooms. We could get some really powerful stuff. And just more bombs. Like, it's kind of like, once we get one bomb, once you pop, you just can't stop sort of thing. We'll end up getting quite a lot more bombs through going to secret rooms once we start getting into secret rooms. That's a pill. No, thank you. I'm not in a position to take pills right now. Take out the big dude first. I love the fact that we've got, like, one of each of these dudes, one of, one of each worm in this room. Always annoyed me that, like, when you have rooms like this, that they can, that after their initial spawn, they can appear over the rocks and continuously do so. It's very annoying. Okay, this is an annoying room. But we can deal with it. Right, so these guys are a bomber dude. We can try and get these guys to play out the, the mushrooms a little bit here. It's a little tricky to do so effectively. But we can try. Nah, we're slowing them too much. It doesn't really work. Right, what you got for me? Okay, money is good. Charming tears, not not quite so much. Not quite so much. Right, shop better have a bomb available. There's more money in here. Good, good. We're killing these hosts as they pop up. That's that's a good sign of our damage. You've been charmed. Would you like to show yourself? There you go. And you are dead. And just you left the boil boy. Good, good. Right, shop. We did get a crawl space in here. That's rather nice. We'll take that. I will take this for potential chance of bombs. Ooh, it gave us one penny. One penny. Um, hmm.
And uh, black market? Yeah, black market. Okay. Uh, Diplopy is pretty good. Diplopy is pretty good. I'm very tempted to take Diplopia. I'm just trying to think what we'd use it on, though. Where would we Where would we be get the best use out of Diplopia? Because I, 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 I wouldn't want to use it on this room. Let's just take it and we'll figure that out later. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. Um, Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to do this and go up. On death, revive. Okay, no, thank you. Don't, I don't care. Right. And away we go. I could take Fanny Pack, I guess. Don't really think it's that necessary. Another pill. Still no bombs. Still just no bombs forever. This boss room looks so cool. Oh, you being charmed there was so helpful. Nice. Thank you. Latchkey is nice too. Still no bombs though. I actually can't believe the, the ridiculous lack of bombs we've been getting here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Despite how long it's going to take us to get over there, we have a mini boss room we never did back this way. I'd very much like to do that because it could be a bomber man and we could get some, um, could be a wrath and get some bombs. But yeah, Diplopy is always an item I like taking because if we get like a really good shop or something, we can, oh, it's just Lust. If we get like a really good shop or something, we could make it work. To be fair, I'd be okay to get a syringe from Lust. The virus would work for us here. Or a pill. And it's just addicted anyways. Ugh. That was a waste of time. Right. I'll take this pill now. It's a tears up. Thank God I did it. Thank God I did it. Okay, tears are actually in a place now where they're not absolutely awful. They're still not good, but they're not awful anymore. There's a second floor in a row of skipping both secret rooms from Blue Map. That's, that's always nice. My lord. I am being tried... Oh, my lord. Nine lives I might take. I'm a little annoyed I didn't take starter deck now, because it would have been worth it, considering we just got nine lives. But I'm not going to take nine lives yet, because I want to make the most out of the heart that I've got. Use guillotine to get some damage out here. Kringer. Okay, you are going down pretty quickly. I think the charm's going to help somewhat. Not a lot, I wouldn't imagine. Ooh, you got me. You got me, big fella. Yeah, I'm going to play out this floor and I'll see if Nine Lives ends up taking my fancy. I'm pretty tempted to take it right now. It's. I know we have to take damage, but it's a bomb. It's finally a bomb and we get two of them. It's an absolute miracle. All right, so let's go towards the secret rooms first. Ooh, this is a harder room, this. Ooh, tinted rock there as well. Okay, so th this is a question now. Do I use one of my bombs to get the tinted rock? I suppose I did end up using four bombs in one floor for super secret rocks, so that might be one of the reasons I'm so low on bombs. I didn't really think about that fact. This is difficult. Also, I charmed that guy and he didn't seem in the slightest bit interested to help me out. That, that, that dude almost did, but I killed him too quickly. And here we get the Empress. We've already got a strength card. We'll keep that. <gasps> Ooh. Thank you, game. I will definitely spend two keys for this. Right, now we can go back and get our, uh, get our Tinted Rock here. Oh, Beautiful. And we get the Holy Mantle too. That that trinket is so good. Especially with the, the other trinket we're pairing it with right now. It's a, it's a very good pairing. Saving us a lot of unnecessary damage though. I can't remember what these possessor dudes do, but I'm going to stay the hell away just in case. And there's one of our keys back. And finally, a secret room for me. God damn it. Wait, was one of those a tears up though? Let's check. Nope. I, I know that I know what the tears up is now. I don't care about any other pills. <laughs> I do not want to take a tears down. It would devastate me. Both physically and mentally. Ooh. Okay, I managed to keep my holy mantle there. Do not ask me how. That is a miracle of science. The half heart there, good. 
get a Clotty Boy inbound. Ooh, full heal there as well. I don't even know if we can manage to shoot that through the through the gaps. I'd rather not use a bomb on it. My bombs are for secret rooms only now. Secret rooms and tinted rocks only. Although, <laughs> you make a compelling argument, game. Right, let's let's first just get rid of all our hearts. You make a very compelling argument, game. Okay, that was worth it. We didn't get any bombs back, but we did get a bunch of clots. That I thought that was Mum's knife then. It's not, but it is good. Oh, what? You're destroying my dudes, my babies. Yeah, this is good. Basically, it's the it's it's the knife pieces combined, but as an item. It's very strong. Right. Bomb that. No. <laughs> Hell no. I'm not doing the tinted praying altar. I am not ready. Have you seen this run so far? I am not ready for that internal torment. I could not. I simply could not face it. We could. We could double up nine lives and get 18 lives. I don't really know what I'd do with 18 lives, but I could. Uh, Soul of Jove adds one broken heart and removes um, a random item. Honestly, I'd be fine with that. Uh, from your inventory, spawns three of the current pool. Okay, this could be good. Du Diplopia plus this could really, could really, really work out. I don't really care what it takes. I'd rather it not take a damage up, but I honestly couldn't care what it does end up taking. Wait, where's, where's the entrance to the secret room? I don't want to do it in the other secret room, just in case it spawns one on the praying altar. I think we got in through here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so this will take a random item, which ends up being... Ah, easy. Okay, okay. So we've got Curse of the Stars, which is actually very, very good, but scary. Book of Secrets, which is genuinely awful. And the Curse Chalice kills all enemies and non-final bosses in the room and gives you broken hearts. Killing bosses um, times two using... After the depths times two. Using a final bosses gives you six. Ooh, that's not good. Um, I actually don't think I'm going to use Diplopia here. I think I'm just going to use Curse of the Stars. And... Yeah, I'll just take... I still think that was a good swap nonetheless. One broken heart to remove an item I did not care about whatsoever. And get myself... An item I do care about a lot. Albeit, this item is scary as, as frick. Because now we don't know what, what, what items we're picking up. We're going to be cursed of the blind. But we can no longer get low quality items, which I feel is pretty important. We are on the depths uh, one, so we haven't got much time left to get more items, but still. We do have an angel deal coming up this floor. Do you know what? Let's just take nine lives for safety. I realise it's going to remove a heart that we can use to create clots, but as long as we've got one red heart to, do, to be at our disposal, we should be fine. What we need is B, um, BFFs. BFFs would be really good. Because it would make the Mended Knife just insane. Oh, oh, oh no. What what was that? Why? Why why did you just kill all of my clots for no reason? That was an absolute massacre. That was brutal. Okay. This is going to be a little tough in this room, but as long as these guys don't yeah, I guess they don't charge me down directly, I should be fine. One moment. I apologize. One of the one of the problems with recording in the in the morning is my I'm quite groggy and like phlegmy just from waking up. And I do not want you guys to have to hear that. I'm trying to avoid it the best I can. I do apologize if you do end up hearing any of it. Mended knife, go. <laughs> Look at that. It's so good. Mended knife, go. More keys. Mended knife's gonna be good against this guy as well, actually. Let's try and Oh, hello. Oh, beautiful. I think we're clotless right now. We could do with some uh, some red health. 
Charred dice isn't really my jam right now. Yeah, I think with Mended Knife, we really don't need too many clots out because it's going to be killing stuff for us. You just got to remember it does travel across the entire room before it comes back to us. So we have got a bit of a waiting period before we can use it again. But look, it's, it's literally killing stuff on its own. It don't need our help. Good, good. What does the shop have to offer? Good thing is we've been, been getting a lot of money this uh, this episode. So we've been able to play our shops reasonably well. Unfortunately, this is a shop that we cannot play. Ooh, I lost my Holy Mantle there. Unfortunate. Ow. Please just die. I'm having a really hard time seeing where I am because a guillotine here. He's firing so much. Way more than normal. Way more than normal. Just stop firing and spawn your little jumpers. There you go. Lost a lot of HP there. Very scary. Right, away we go. Please, Angel Deal, save me. Save me from this nothing I've become. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. Can't wake up. More keys. More keys for the key master. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you absolute dog. What the fuck, guillotine? Why did I take damage then? Apparently, according to the game, I stepped on the spikes, but I would like to dispute that. Use the guillotine head. The only option we have. Just... This is, to be fair, Reap Creep is a really well-designed boss that I think more vanilla Binding of Isaac after where plus like bosses should follow the, the design pattern of. Just got a lot of designs, can spawn multiple different types of enemies, there's a lot of different things he can do to screw you over, and it's, it's kind of unpredictable. It's a fun fight, but he's hard as shit. That's why I'm annoyed at him, but I do like him as a boss a lot. Right, so we get ourselves toothpicks, holy hell yes. Um, I believe this is only a quality 2 item, so I'm not going to deplopure it. Job's Rags. I don't know what that does. Is that the one where when we enter a new floor, we get a massive fire rate bonus for a short time? I think it is. Let's have a look. Uh, at the beginning of a floor, I get a 66% tier rate boost. It'll slowly fade. Awesome. Oh, wait. Let's have a look. Having multiple copies of the item increases the duration by another 90 seconds. Damn. We should have duplicated it. It's okay, though. Let's go. That was a good flaw. The fire rate burner should help significantly, considering, yeah. Okay, we now actually have good fire rate, at least at the start of the floor. Our character looks legitimately horrifying. I will say that for sure. But despite that, things are looking good for us. Obviously, we have to kind of play the floor a little quicker combat-wise. Oh god, this is a this is a room that exists. Yeah, I kind of knew it was going to happen. It's fine though. Now we can get ourselves uh, two clock boys. I do like fighting the bosses in there though, because it opens up every single entrance, so you can skip rooms or like get to other rooms quicker. You could kind of shortcut through without having to use more bombs. Get over there, boy. I kind of forgot you could charm him. I do need to get over there myself, actually. There you go. He's going to end up killing some of my clots here, but it's part of the course. I'm trying to knife him as much as I can. Because despite our fire rate being really good now, our knife is still one of our biggest damage dealers. Look at that. It just slices and dices through everything in its path. Ah, oh, no holy mantle this time. Good, good. Right, over to second secret room. But yeah, what a beautiful item for us to get. Despite it not lasting the full floor, it's still a very, very good bonus to start the floor off. 
Oh, the rags fell off. I was like, what the hell was that visual effect then? I thought it was like what happened when I picked up the heart, but it's because the rags fell off. That's actually a really cool effect. I'm I'm, I'm surprised the uh, spent the extra time and effort to do that, and I'm very happy about it. it looks very cool. Another bomb, beautiful. And we can get the second secret room here. Yeah, you can go away. And in here we get some golden pickups, nice. Okay, not bad, not bad. Right, let's go find our item room and shop. This shop is is worth a lot to us, or potentially worth a lot to us. We could we could get some really good stuff. We have so much money. I'm hoping we can get like a members access card or something, and then get like a, a random really good item from a different pool. That's a that's kind of wishful thinking, I know, but it could happen. It's not it's not impossible. Oh, we're getting a lot more bombs now, aren't we? A lot more bombs. Now we're up to the floors that I don't want to explore. It's like, here's all the bombs. Tell you what, old bandage is killing it for us right now. Very appreciative of old bandage. So here's our item room. You can do your thing. I should be able to kill you reasonably easy. Damn it, I didn't think he was going to end up charging, but he did. a heart back noise. This is good. This is a very, very good item. This, by the way, this item room is way too common. Like, I get that it's not a bad item room at all, but it's still so common. Yeah, this is Blood Explosion. Um, This is incredible. It's a, a tier 4 item. I don't know why it wasn't invisible, by the way. It should have been, in, it sh it should have been uh, hidden by Curse of the Blind, and I don't know why it wasn't. But it does that. When we kill enemies, sometimes they explode. Maybe it doesn't work on some modded items. Maybe it just doesn't work on modded items in general, or maybe I've somehow broken the curse. Right. Okay, so. This is worthless to us right now, but so I think I'm just going to re-roll it and hope for better pastures. Alabaster box is unfortunately just not even remotely viable right now. That's good, so I'll take it, but it's not amazing. I will also take this. There it is. I think we I think we diplopia here. Get these two. And then we keep rolling. And we get 4.5 volt, or we just buy a soul heart. I think that's more more important to us. Yeah, that was good. That is like on the lines of what I what I wanted there. I really wanted to get um, BFFs because it makes the knife incredible. Literally doubles its damage. Oh, we can't get into that room because we fought a boss in here. Ha, diggity dang. Hoping we could cheese that a little bit. Anyways, let's go do our boss. Hoping for another angel deal. Don't know if we'll end up getting one. Well, no, because, wait, Job's rags was hidden. And that's a modded item. I don't, I don't know why the, the Curse of the Stars thing isn't working for us anymore. Like, is it even giving us the increased quality items? Or is it just not working? What, Dude, there's a lot of enemies here. What the hell's going on? Thank God we bought all those soul hearts. Dude, what the hell's with all the Keeper's heads? Might want to calm down, mother. The, the heck? You've killed all my babies. You've got your big, fat, grubby hands all over everything. It's a travesty. Stop spawning more enemies. I, I realize Blue Mum does do that, but, like, come on now. It's too many, and it's too many annoying enemies as well. The enemies she is spawning is, like, the worst enemies she can spawn. Oh my god. That was close. I'm trying to make sure the knife always hits a nub. It's very difficult, though. Good. Soul Heart, no Holy Mantle. Um, we're just going Blue Baby here, aren't we? This has been stressful. Has this been one of those Isaac runs where it doesn't even give you the opportunity to... Um, doesn't even give you the opportunity to, like, talk about other things. Because the run, like, making sure you actually win the run is so important. 
Nope, not pressing buttons on the womb or further. That is a mugs game. Oh, I'm getting hit here. Oh, I'm getting hit here. Yep. See that one coming from a mile away. Reflected chest. I kind of want to go see that dice room because I, I wouldn't be completely against re-rolling this entire run. But at the same time, we do have some really good stuff. Mended Knife BFFs is incredible. The um the 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 Curse of the Stars thing is is pretty good too. The Blood Splosion has really got some oomph to it. These things, I never really understand how they work. Just blow them up. I think they, like, heal things when they explode. Anything nearby just gets healed instantly. I'm not entirely sure if that's how it works, though, I'll be honest. Good, good. Wait, are these, are these clots BFF'd as well? Does, does the clots get affected? I didn't think they did. Half soul heart there. Give us, give us the holy mantle. Damn it. Every time I'm hoping for it now. No. We already have two really good trinkets. In fact, our trinket setup is incredibly good today. Like, a lot better than normal. Oh, I forgot about Job's rags as well this floor. That was helping us out at the start. This is a really annoying enemy, so... Oh, what? Okay, that's, that's even more annoying. I forgot that that enemy, that champion type existed. Okay. We are, we are in the clear now. Spawn another clot boy. What? Blow explosion. I didn't think it would be quite as effective against this boss, but it really was. Holy hell. It's back to being active again. And magic scab's so good for us. Yes. Right, down we go. It seems that BFF is working on the clots. They seem to be far bigger boys. I do not like the look of this room. Pop our look. Just try and get as much as we can out of this. I want to like a soul heart. There you go. And a holy mantle. Nah, no holy mantle. I realise I'm losing my Joe's rags at this point. But we have a lover's card. We have to play this out. You can't help but sing along. It's infectious. Okay, Nightlight's helping against this goober. Okay, we've kind of got to a point now where we're in a much safer position. I would like more tear effects just to make our clots pop a little more, but... I don't know if we're going to end up getting that. We might get it from an angel or devil deal here. We'll see. I'd be okay with taking either at this point as well. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. That was horrible. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God that I had the blood explosions there. Sleepy boy. Second secret room's all the way back there. We're not going back for it. Oh, look. It's a trash fire. It's a trash fire, people. Oh, my God. This is fun. God damn. That room took, like, 30 seconds longer than it ever should have. How did I get hit there? Oh, there was a third there was a third needle, that's why I got hit. I didn't see the third one. God damn everything in this room blood exploded. Awesome. I think blood explosions based on the um based on the Borderlands 2 perk from Krieg. Or at least that's what it feels like it's based on. It might not be specifically. Oh! Excuse me. Die! I Die. I die. Probably shouldn't have spawned a clot in here. It's going to die very quickly. 
Yeah, Nightlight is screwing the hell out of us right now. I don't know how I've not been hit. That is... I actually can't tell what that is. Um... Is that Abyss? It looks like Abyss. But Abyss is a two-heart deal. Let's just take it. Why not? Oh, it's... What the fuck? It's money equals power? How? Oh! I see. Okay. Kind of makes sense. Unfortunately, we're getting basically nothing out of that right now. Right, let's go. Money equals power couldn't have been good. Obviously, we do have to find quite a lot of money to make it work, but... This is a start. That's definitely a start. Pop that death card there. Whoa, this is a room and a half. What the hell? Oh, the fires. Damn, the fires are killing all my clocks. Thank you for opening that for me. I thought we might as well do this room while we have the, uh, the, the rags bonus. Right, secret room, give us a bunch of money as well, please. Did give us an eternal chest, which could be pretty good, although it's an eternal chest in a room that I'm not a fan of. Okay, that, it's over already. Wow, okay. Okay. Let's get going then, shall we? Of course, that room wasn't the right way. I got duked out there. Damn, we have a lot of damage now with this setup. God damn, this floor looks incredible with this mod. Like, genuinely fantastic. Far better than the original. No offense to Edmund and the like, but god damn. Looks so good. Second secret room's here, so I'll try to go for that. Money! Okay, boss is here as well, nice. The fuck is this? Who are you? What the hell? This is new. Is he gonna give me wisps for money? That's so cool! What the, where do you come? What mod does that come from? Whoever made that, props to you. That's awesome. Why, why aren't they more common? That's my question. Why aren't, why aren't they more common? Right, let's try and not get hit here because we don't have a lot of health to play with. Immediately gets hit. It's Nightlight. Honestly, never take Nightlight. It's a bag of garbage. I'm a really hard time against this dude here. Yeah, Nightlight is genuinely always bad. The benefits it gives you are not worth. Because you always, like at least me, I always move like this. Which means I only ever slow down half the tiers. Like I, I don't ever stand here like this and just like never move. I o I'm always moving. Knife hitting nice. Got him. Good. -er. Right. We need some good items here because our health is not looking super hot. We do have nine lives, but doesn't help us too much. It opened a chest for me. This is some good stuff. For one, this is a revive right here. And a great trinket. This here is homing. Serpent's kiss is poison. And ooh. Plastic bag is um, random chance for butt bombs on killing enemies. Some good stuff there, definitely. Oh, the herming. I didn't even think about the herming. God, diggity. Oh, this is splendid. This is so very good. Oh, oh. We do have Curse of Rebirth. I also, oh God. I also did just hurt myself pretty badly there. 
with the butt bomb. Also, why does this wisp keep changing? Is that a thing? Is that like a type of wisp? Or is that like a unique one you can get from him, from him specifically? I'm very low HP at the minute, so let's be careful. Our enemies also drop the uh, the poop slick as well. Forgot about that. We do have revives, so don't worry too much about our HP. Yeah, the the, the rebirth curse is uh, is is just the worst on this floor. Luckily, I don't think it affects bosses, but still, oh, a black heart, very very useful for us right now. This is a room that I want to cease to exist immediately. Got to keep an eye on those butt bombs as well. Sadly, we're not getting many uh, many health drops. I was hoping for a few more of those. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Yeah, I love the fact that with Rebear, you can kill the enemy immediately as it respawns. That makes it way less uh, tedious and annoying. Ooh, no thank you. It's a cool looking room though, that. Unfortunately, there's some rocks in the chest for some weird reason, but we do get a tinted rock out of it with a soul heart. Okay. Let's focus up here. Okay, our fire's finally deceased, despite, like, burning out, like, f a few times. Our little wisp is gone. And this guy is also gone. Wow! Oh, no! So, now we have another wisp. Maybe at the end of every room, we get a random wisp or something. If that's the case, that's very overpowered. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this. What a crazy hard run. And I'll see you guys in the next one.